Hello, this is The Vigilant Christian, and you're here for a very special video today. A while ago, a brother of mine told me about this game called Anno 2070, and let me tell you, it's one of the most satanic games out there. Now, I've already told you about how the media is trying to condition and prepare us for the upcoming worldwide deception by the Antichrist, but this game makes it so blatant that I don't even have words to describe it. So, let's get right in there, okay? So, the main premise of the game is that in the near future, all the ice caps melt and the coastlines everywhere have changed. This is clearly a tool to deceive the public into believing that the planet is actually getting warmer, which, as we know, has already been debunked by... So, this is just another lie that the media is trying to brainwash us with. Then there's what's called a world council you can elect, which, brothers and sisters, clearly shows how the media wants to prepare us for the one world government that we'll have to live under under the Antichrist. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to mention is the fact that this game gives you the chance of playing two fractions. In the game, they call them the Ecos and the Tycoons. The Ecos are portrayed as this kind of New Age group that's in tune with nature and everything, so you have this kind of New Age philosophy they're trying to push on us, and the Tycoons are essentially one huge world with economy. Again, that's the Illuminati, what they want to strive for. A one-world government with a one-world economy and a one-world religion. So right there, we already see the deception right before our eyes, and we don't even notice it. So we have to be very, very vigilant about, about that. Another thing that this game tries to push onto us is the concept of artificial intelligence. And the game is very prolific in doing that as well. We have an artificial intelligence called Eve and an artificial intelligence called Father. Now, of course, I've already talked about how the Illuminati and the Freemasons want to prepare us for what's called transhumanism. I'll just put this Time Magazine article up to show you so you know what I'm, what I'm talking about. But also in the names, we see the game is pure blasphemy all around. Eve, <laughs> of course. I don't need to explain why that's blasphemous, but certainly there are femic undertones when we think of father in reference to the father who, who is in heaven. The next thing I wanted to get into are the characters in the game itself, and wow, if you don't realize that this game is satanic by now, then there's clearly something wrong with you. The first two characters we're going to be looking at are called Hector and Scorpio, and they have some very odd traits that can't be more blatant if anyone possibly tried. Notice, for example, that Hector only has one eye left. Now, that's clearly a blatant display of the Eye of Horus of the Illuminati, as you all know. And the same can be said for Father as well, who also has only one eye, or to be more accurate, one single camera. Now, Scorpio belongs to a group called the Neoskulls, and as you can clearly tell my brothers and sisters, this is blatantly referencing the Skull and Bone Society, which I've previously talked about in other videos. You guys can go and check that out, too. Also, the scorpion is, of course, an Egyptian symbol that's associated with death, which again is a reference to the upcoming New World Order and the mass killings that we have to prepare ourselves for. Then we have the blatant disregard of God's holy word with the characters called Kido, Skylar Baines, Yana Rodriguez, and Dr. Bartok. In the game, these are all portrayed as very powerful women who all have a very important say in one thing or another. So here again, we see the deception that's blatantly going on with regards to disregard for the word of God, where it clearly says that no woman should have authority over men. And here it's entirely reversed, and of course that's absolutely satanic. Another small thing I noticed while doing research on this game is that in order to advance your researchers to geniuses, you have to supply them with what are known as neuro-implants. Are you seeing this, people? 
They are actively promoting sticking chips into our brains so that they can modify and control our thoughts. But again, it's just to show you how far the media has come and how successful they've been in pushing us to the point where stuff like that doesn't even, it doesn't even phase us anymore. It doesn't even register with us anymore when we're seeing that stuff in our entertainment because we're so conditioned by the media and the new world order and by the Illuminati to want to evolve to a higher level of consciousness. So my brothers and sisters, this is absolutely satanic and we need to stay, stay well aware, well away from that. And they're not even being secret about that in that game as well. One of the last things I wanted to note is the two buildings known as Education Network and the Ministry of Truth that you need for eco and evolution, respectively. This is clearly an example of how far the media will go in preparation for the Antichrist when we're just constantly bombarded with the information and what the media thinks is the truth. This, of course, is also compounded by the fact that in, for this game, you need a standing internet connection. And so they're already trying to brainwash us into being available all the time, of being plugged in all of the time. There's only one truth in, in the entire world, and that's the truth in, in Jesus Christ. So thank you for watching this very special video. And if you know anyone who plays this game, or if you know of children or have young children or younger siblings, don't let them play this game. It's absolutely satanic, and you need to stay away from it as far as possible. This has been The Vigilant Christian, and as always, stay vigilant.